but yes, I did say handling the balls. Gotta stop saying balls. I think that made it over. This way. <laughs> Come with me. Right, we are in position. Right, morning. Back on the old dung today. Good old Fleming trailer. We're gonna finish bringing down the dung from the shed onto this pile here that you would have seen in the last video. If you watched it, if you didn't watch it, go and watch it. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Remember, subscribing is free. I want to beat Crawford to 20,000 to go down and hit the subscribe button. Give the video a like whilst you're there as well. Now, I reckon there are two more loads in the shed. And then we've got to do a bit of forking about, get all of the stuff out from underneath the troughs and whatever. Give it a good old clean. I've got a couple of things I want to do today. Empty the shed, I might wash the trailer out whilst it's sort of wet then. Get that done, ticked off the list. I've got to take some bales, either today or tomorrow, over to Rowden to feed the cattle over there. And then we're on with weighing tomorrow and Thursday. So it's uh, gonna be a bit of a busy week. Anyway, this is where John finished up chainsawing last night. See a lot further that way now, it's a lot safer. Still can't see a lot that way. We might take down that tree. If we do, we'll put a strap around it and pull it this way with a man or two when John cuts it so that it falls the right way. Um, that'll be a bit safer. But yeah, head back and load up. I'll show you how we're getting on in the shed. Making a bit of a slippery mess here. All right, anyway, John's in here. Hi, Biz John. We started pushing out all the stuff underneath the gates here. I'm grab a dung fork and give him a hand. And there's about half a load left in the corner. Whoever designed that dung fork wants a red checking. Go with this instead. There's just that bit left in the corner there. And whatever's here, we'll come down and pick all that up as well. Here is our poorly animal that we had. It's been inside on some antibiotics. It had a swollen head and it's still got a swelling sort of above the left hand eye as we look at it, there's a bit of a lump. We think it must be a growth. I wonder if I can get a better look at it. Yeah, if you can see that or not. Anyway, it sort of, it was losing condition outside and had its tongue sticking out the side of its mouth a little bit. So it's come in and had a steroid and um, five days of antibiotics. And it does seem brighter. It's only on hay at the moment in here, but it is eating, which is good. So we're sort of debating what we do with it. Whether just to send it to the abattoir as it is and take a hit on the weight, which we don't really want to do unless we really have to. It's not, it's not suffering or anything, it's not in pain or, you know, seems happy enough. Um, or do we put it outside and then potentially it'll go backwards because it'll have another diet change? Or do we just feed it up in here with some barley or something? Thoughts in the comments. This way. <laughs> Come with me. Quietly. Oh, is it a moose? No. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is shut all those gates back. And drive down there with it. And pick it up and chuck it, it in the trailer. And if you guys can see that. It's just in there, the start of it. Yeah. And a... Could have been worse. There is always a wasp's nest when we take dung out. It's There's normally like one in the two middle. Two or three down the middle, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, bloody wasps. Hopefully, John has picked up the nest. Well, I, I don't want to go any closer because I can see a load of wasps flying around and they look pretty angry. Yeah, basically, we'll just pick up all this dung all the way along here, up against that wall. Don't know where it's come from, but it is a mat. I assume I put it over that. Oh, over that grid. That grid, get cows out there now. So, in some ways, we... Oh. Yes. You nearly made it to the trailer. Do you know what I've done? I've seen it just fall in. Ah, uh, no. It is proper slippery in here. What we'll do is, when we come up to wash this out, we'll obviously go around with a shovel and make it all as clean as we can. Start washing in here. But at the same time, we'll put all these drinkers running flat out soaking that passageway because you want to get as much water down to soften it up as you can before you start washing it. It makes life so much easier. I 
but hopefully the wasps enjoy their new home there. I'm going to go home and get this trailer washed out whilst all the uh, muck in there is soft and damp. Right, we are in position. I've had a bit of a costume change because I'm about to get filthy. Oh, I left a bit in there. Uh, well, well, tip it out and scrape it around to the dungy. I'm gonna go tip this out in a minute. I got a little bit on my face. The outside is still dirty, but the inside I'm pretty happy with. Looks a lot better than it did. Now this will need washing again before we do harvest. Um, I reckon harvest is about a month away, maybe five weeks. Um, we'll have to wash out the inside and then we also need to disinfect it as well because the crops we're growing um, are going for milling, hopefully. Um, and you should do it anyway, not, not just if they're going for milling. See the front's all dirty. I'll See how much of that I can do, but I just want to close the trailer down and uh, do the backboard and everything. Yeah, we're getting there. It would appear that the heavens have opened. I don't know if you can see it raining behind me. It's actually getting a bit heavier as well. Um, the next job I was going to do is I'm to take a couple of the bales off of this trailer and take them over to Rowden, um, feed up the cows there in the morning. And whilst I'm taking bales over, I might as well take some straw. So I need to go and find the handler and spikes and pick all that up. John is somewhere with the trailer and the Fergie. Sounds like he's coming this way. Blue sky over there. When you go to Rowden, yeah. could you swap the spikes? You want the wide ones back here? Yeah, because they're birdies for um, round are the, bales. Are the narrow ones there? Yeah, I'll put the narrow ones on here. Good idea. If you go to the handler and get the ones I dumped in the way of everyone up there, load yourself with, yeah. then everything is rosy in the garden. It is. Alright? Yep. Proper. Sounds like we've made a plan. Looks a bit better in here, doesn't it? All cleaned out that bucket there. And the weather is acting disgracefully. Although it will soften this up to brush it up a bit better if it rains. Right, beautiful. Two bales of straw, two bales of silage. That'll go over the bridge fine. It's within the confines of the trailer. Get a strap, a sloop of strap straight over the lot. That'll uh, hold that down no problem. I think that made it over. Rock and roll. Do the ping test. Yes. You're coming with me, Fergie. I don't know if you guys heard it. John wants these spikes dropping over Rowden. We've got a slightly wider set that he wants to go and pick up some hay with tomorrow. So we'll bring those ones back for him. This is Dr. Phil's tractor, really. We made it. I'll just unstrap this a moment and then I'll take this off. I've got to swap the spikes. I need to remember to do that. And then I'll take you into that field and show you something that happened this morning that concerns this building here. Yeah.
will empty. Just got to lock the gates in a minute when I'm going. I just want to show you in this field a minute. I've come to check the cows this morning that if you watched the last video, you'd have seen us move into this lovely field of grass. And uh, when I got here, there was a lady asking if I could move the cows because she needed to dig some holes. I said, oh, I didn't know nothing about that. Anyway, I wasn't in the loop, but she was right. They did need to dig some holes. And here they are. Looks like they found a pipe down there as well. That's good. But yeah, there's a couple of holes. There's one there. And there's another one over here. And as you can see, they're full of water. Now those holes have been dug and purposely filled with water to see what happens to said water in the holes. It's all to do with the building there. This building behind me is where we house our bulls over winter. It's four bays, four bulls. Um, and it's coming down. That building is going, and there was a new one going up in its place. That is a wooden building. It's obviously a steel frame building going up. So it's currently a four bay building. There's a five bay building going in its place. And if you can see each pen, it is literally just that in a bay. It's just a pen. And we have no way of handling a bull in there at all if we need to. So it's gonna be split. So it's got like a scrape passage and a bedded area. There's gonna be uh, a channel out the back to run a bull down if we need to out the end and into a new handling area on the end here. It's just gonna make our lives a hell of a lot safer handling the bulls because at the minute, whatever we do with them, we gotta run them across this road. And um, I know you can do it, but it's just not safe. Also, yes, I did say handling the bulls. So anyway, that's quite an exciting project that will be coming very, very soon. I will, of course, show you that as it is going on, but we plan to have the bulls in there for, uh, for winter. Gotta stop saying bulls. All tucked up safely in the shed for the night. I am calling it quits and going home. Remember, if you wanna stay in touch with what's going on here, then you can subscribe, turn the post notifications on, all the exciting stuff that is to come, including the new shed, We've got some more exciting building work going on on one of the other farms at the minute. I will show you that the next time I go up there. And we've also got a couple really exciting things planned for the autumn. So make sure you are subscribed, turn the notifications on and you won't miss any of it. All the links to my socials are just down there in the description. You can go and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. I'm on all of them. If you want to buy some merch, there's also a link down there. Claire sent me some pictures of the new merch that is coming very soon today. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, as always guys, I'll see you in another video very soon. Cheerio.